Tokyo, it's time to begin our battle for glory greatness with 100,000 US dollars on the line. Our first quarterfinal bout features a tough as nails fighter from the Bahia region of Brazil, taking on his biggest battle yet against a world Muay Thai champion, Marcus Vinicius versus Mossab Amrani. the first time fighting outside of Brazil and to say this kid is pumped would be an understatement. Yeah, he's very relaxed and uh, he's got uh, same night tournament experience. That's a definite plus coming into this. And he's, he's a wild, aggressive, pressure style fighter. He's a punch first and ask questions later type guy. He likes the one, two, three, which is the jab, straight right and left hook and a left high kick. He trained at the legendary Shootbox Academy in Curitiba, Brazil for one year as well. The number one ranked Mosaf Amrani with an incredible record of 49, 7 and 4, 15 KOs. He is the epitome of an all-around active fighter. Yeah, he comes right at his opponents. But he said to us that he's going to really uh, take his time a little bit more and pick his shots. But we'll see once the bell rings. And the tail of the tape, um, Ronnie truly has the deck stacked here. He's younger, taller, and vastly more experienced than Vinicius. So the Brazilian might have to uh, find the Jaguar's chin ASAP. This quarterfinal slam matchup scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Let's meet the fighters. First, in the blue corner, this man won an eight-man tournament in his native Brazil, knocking out three opponents in one night. His young professional record, seven wins against just one loss at 1.67 meters. He weighed in at five time at 63.9 kilograms, representing Brazil, currently ranked number nine in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Vinicius! Here now is his opponent, standing on my left and fighting out of the red corner. A former World Muay Thai Council Intercontinental and World Featherweight Champion. His record, 49 wins, 7 losses, 4 draws, 15 wins by knockout. At 1.70 meters, he weighed in at 64.85 kilograms. Representing Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, he is the number one ranked featherweight in the world. Here is Mossad, the Jaguar of Ronnie. And this is the contest with Minoru Toyanaga. Marcus Vinicius Senshu, Tai Mossad Amrani Senshu. One group, one round, two down, out, all round, three down, out. Okay, don't do much holding. Three, three seconds. Okay, okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. Check out, hold on. I get the funny feeling that we're going to have a fast start in this fight. 
Well, we are all set to go. Quarter final slam fight number one. The number one ranked Mosaf Ambrani in the red and black trunks, taking on the major underdog, Marcus Vinicius in the blue. And we are set to go. Marcus Vinicius coming out right out with straight punches. Hard low kick by Vinicius. And he is swinging with bad intentions with Marcus Vinicius. Amrani just misses with a knee. Body shot by Vinicius. Amrani um, is usually the man who starts fast, uh, but he doesn't want to get behind the eight ball with his power punch for Brazil. Well, Vinicius has nothing to lose in this fight. He's not expected to win, so he was very relaxed, as you said earlier, Stephen. Big knee by Amrani. Um, but Vinicius is covering well when Amrani um, unloads there, so some of those, fight, those, those shots are being blocked. I'm running with the right foot forward as the southpaw, so his power kick will be that left roundhouse kick to the inside of the leg, possibly, of uh, Vinicius. Vinicius likes to counter the straight right and left hook. I'm telling you, Vinicius landed a really good right roundhouse kick there to Amrani's body. That one echoed throughout the arena. Low kick by Amrani. It's a really smart, patient fight by both gentlemen. I mean, at first we had a flurry of activity early in the round, and I thought that maybe Venetius needs, needs to get this into a phone booth. Uh, low blow there. That one looked low. Yeah, accidental low blow from that low kick. Ronnie throwing a lot of low kicks here in the first round. I have to say I'm impressed already at the Brazilian fighter because with only eight fights on his dossier, he's fighting like a much more seasoned pro. Kick to the body. Again, continuing to work. But one thing that uh, Vinicius might not want to do is wait too long on the outside. He did say he wanted to get in close on Amrani. Oh, man, those low kicks to the inside of the leg. There's another one. That's what three big shots there by Marcus Vinicius. <laughs> Moving in, under 30 seconds to go. Round number one. Interesting there. Uh, um, Ronnie switched the southpaw momentarily. And he does it again and lands the right roundhouse kick to the body of Vinicius. A lot of roundhouse kicks are landing by Amrani. Vinicius is very comfortable in counter punching. Very entertaining round number one. Great action there. You take, check out number one ranked Mosab Amrani. You check out the highlights from round number one. Mosab landing that low kick, but he eats a, a, a couple punches as a result. And on the inside, they're both landing shots. Uh, I would have to say that Mosab is covering better, and he's landing that chopping downward right hand. Mosab uh, did the more damage, but again, I was surprised. Very surprised by that man there, uh, Marcus Vinicius. He's carrying himself like a, a seasoned pro with maybe 30 or 40 fights. He's doing extremely well, but he needs to put the hurt on Amrani. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. Round two. Here we go, round number two of this quarterfinal slam fight. Mosab Amrani in the red gloves. Marcus Vinicius with the blue. Vinicius said he had nothing to lose. He considers this the opportunity of a lifetime as we check out the scores from our five judges in round number one. Yeah, round number one was across the board, a unanimous verdict for Mosab Amrani. Amrani really taking his time, though. He's not jumping in and blasting away because that shows respect for 
the offense and defensive ability of Venetius. Well, he better because one right, and it could be good night as you see Venetius starting to hammer. Yeah, with a little body. clipping left hook there to the temple of Amrani, keeping him honest. Venetius charges forward, tries to land that knee. The knee, knee missed, but a couple of punches landed. Boy, they're throwing some shots here. Yes, they are throwing leather. Body shot by Amrani, countered by Venetius. Great movement by Venetius. Nice long knee there by Amrani. Partially blocked by Venetius, but it slipped through a little bit. For all fighter profiles and information on Glory, check out our website, gloryworldseries.com. And also follow us on Twitter at glory underscore WS. Nice outside uppercut lead there by Amrani. It did tap the chin of Venetius. Coming up on a minute here in round number one. Oh, nice left body shot there by Amrani. Yeah, I think Amrani's starting to get his boxing rhythm here a little bit. Yes, he is. And we're seeing a different style than he uh, incorporated the last time we saw him in London. Hey, he got things done against another tournament combatant. Here comes Amrani. When he fought Liam Harrison, he, and he ended the fight in one minute 20 of the first round. But we're seeing a different strategy here. Being more of a patient fighter. That, that outside uppercut lead, although dangerous, it, it is an effective punch for him. Amrani does seem very comfortable, very patient, taking his time. He's one of those kind of fighters that he has a tendency to naturally want to load up on everything. And I think that that's one thing in his training. He's trying to pull that back a little bit. That way he doesn't tire. I expect Venetius to start to throw some leather. Stephen, he needs to do something. So we're yeah, under 10 seconds to go in round number two. Venetius not establishing the jab like he did in the first round. There's some of the action in round number two. Venice is kind of hanging back and waiting, and he catches the knee right upside the chin. It was a nice flying knee there by Amrani, and Amrani really putting a lot of pressure there. A good left hook in that exchange. And uh, Venice is basically starting to fade a little bit. I, I'm not sure if it's a stamina problem or if he, if he got hurt by one of those shots. And speaking of sumo, Ron. There we go. I mean, you're a big sumo fan, right? Absolutely huge. Have a sumo fantasy league that I run. But you don't have sideburns like that guy. Seconds out, please. <laughs> Seconds out. Very true. Seconds out, please. Third and final round, Mosaf Amrani, the number one ranked glory featherweight, taking on the number seven ranked Marcus Venetius, who needs to do something here in this third round if he wants to move on in this tournament. Yeah, Low kick Venetius, by Amrani. Venetius has got good technique, and again, we see that Amrani ran away with that round as well. So Venetius has to get a knockout here to win. And he's not going to do it by hanging back and waiting like this. He should charge forward like he did at the beginning of round number one and take a chance. On Ronnie, flying knee just misses. One thing that Venetius is doing is frustrating on Ronnie from landing any really significant damage. Nice front kick there by Venetius, though. Yeah, he definitely has some long legs. Those could be dangerous. I'm surprised that was the first time he threw it. I think it's an experience thing or a lack of it for Venetius because all the waiting. Eventually, once he goes back and watches this fight, he's probably going to say, you know, I'm just going to go for it next time. I'm Ronnie is loading up with those left hooks, getting closer to the, its target. So that's the challenging thing about a tournament. You win this fight, possibly got to fight two more. You got to actually win three fights. 
to win the tournament. Such a key. Injuries always are a big factor in a tournament. You want to make it out of the quarterfinal rounds unscathed and, and healthy. You're never gonna you're never gonna get to the finals. Exactly. I mean, plus your gas tank. Down goes Amrani. It was off of a jab, but it wasn't a knockdown because uh, Amrani was throwing a kick, so it was just basically a push down. I see that uh, Venetius is trying to walk down Amrani, but he's waiting too long to, to land that shot. But he comes in with a nice one, two, three combination there. He gets popped with the straight left. One minute to go in our third and final round. Marcus Venetius needs to do something spectacular. Because Musab Amrani is in control of this fight. Yeah, he really is. He's just a better technical fighter, and because he's basically fighting this fight at his rhythm. And Vinicius, unfortunately, is letting him do that. Whereas earlier on, in the, and like I should go back to that first round, Vinicius came out and started landing some shots and got him running thinking about things. But since then, he's basically shelled up just a little bit. Strong low kick by Amrani echoes throughout the Coliseum. And you wonder if Venetius' cardio was not where it needed to be for this even flying knee just misses by Amrani. That's a good point, Ron, because the six-year age difference of being 31 years older than Amrani, uh, that can add up. Plus, you know, this is the first time, like you said, being out of Brazil. Nice left hook at the end for, for uh, Venetius. It's a little too late, though, probably. That was a nice little scrap, really. You see the respect there. I'm running thinking, you know what? This guy's a lot tougher than his record dictates. Yeah, Marcus Venetius came in as the underdog. We look at some of the action in round two. As that flying knee came up a little bit short, uh, but Venetius didn't do anything to counter the shot. And that was a nice left hook right at the end bell for Venetius, but that was really the only good shot he landed. Amrani acknowledged it. But it may be a little too little, a little too late. Ladies and gentlemen, again after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, and they give us a point total, 150-135 for your winner. Now moving on to the semifinals of the Slam Tournament in the red corner, Mosa! No surprise here, uh, Mursab Amrani basically winning every round there across the board with our judges. Very respectful there. Uh, it's probably surprised that it went that way. Absolute domination by Mursab Amrani. He moves on to the semifinals to face the winner of the Liam Harrison Masaki Noriri fight. And everyone would love to see Amrani and Harrison in a rematch. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because that first fight, Harrison was really ticked off. And we see that uh, Amrani retains his number one position. No problem. But Marcus uh, Benicius holds strong at number seven as well.